straight into the top five news stories of the day. As expected, President Obama announced sweeping changes to the country's broken immigration system when he addressed the nation last night. So we're going to offer the following deal. If you've been in America for more than five years, if you have children who are American citizens or legal residents, if you register, pass a criminal background check, and you're willing to pay your fair share of taxes, you'll be able to apply to stay in this country temporarily without fear of deportation. Now, during the speech, the president also defended his right to make the changes using his executive authority and challenged the GOP to pass a broader immigration bill. And while the president was wrapping up his speech inside the White House, the Secret Service was busy arresting a woman right outside the White House who was carrying a handgun. The 23-year-old from Michigan was with a man who was not arrested. Officials say they hope to get a search warrant to look through her car. And in other news, the death toll from the snowstorm that pummeled western New York has risen, claiming at least 10 lives. Rain forecasted for this weekend has officials worried it'll cause more damage to buildings already buried under heavy snow. Governor Cuomo spent some time walking through the areas hardest hit by the storms and thanking workers who are trying to help people dig out and clear up some of the roads. Next in your top five, cops have identified the gunman who opened fire in one of the main libraries at Florida State University early Thursday, injuring three people, one of whom is in critical condition. Police say Myron May, an attorney, was a 2005 graduate of the university and had recently moved back to the Tallahassee area. They say he appears to suffer from mental illness. He believed that he was being targeted by the government. Police killed May when he refused to surrender his weapon. They say they're still reviewing videos and journals he left behind. And last in your top five headlines this morning, looks like Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson's time as a cop may be coming to an end. Now, Wilson, of course, is the officer who shot and killed unarmed teenager Michael Brown in August. Word is city officials are in the final stages of talks with Wilson about his resignation. Wilson still maintains he has done nothing wrong, but says he would resign to alleviate pressure and protect his fellow officers. The community is still waiting on a grand jury decision on whether or not to indict him. Of course, we will continue to keep you posted on all the new developments to this story. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people out there are waiting for that for that answer and that verdict for sure. Yeah, I, I just can't believe that he, he's saying that he's done nothing wrong. Done nothing wrong. I think and that was that, a... you know, even after all this controversy, that they didn't actually tell him, listen, you got to go, you know? He's, it's pretty much a sorry, not sorry kind of situation. <laughs> it's ridiculous.